As with most comic book movies, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was filled with references, easter eggs, and homages. Now, I'm gonna be honest, most are really obvious. Some are a bit of a stretch, but there's at least a couple that will make you go, hey, that's pretty cool. Let's start with some easter eggs. Not only were the opening titles of the movie based on the look and feel of the original comics, some of those frames were actually drawn by Kevin Eastman, one of the co-creators of the Turtles. Awesome! When Vern gets called by April, he's seen making a mustard and parmesan cheese sandwich, just like Will Arnett's character on Arrested Development. And there's a George Michael song playing in the background. I see what you did there. When April tells the story of her encounter, her boss asks, so they're aliens? To which April replies, No, that's stupid. They're turtles. Is there anything else we should know about them? They're ninjas. This is an inside joke to the fact that this movie was originally going to be simply called Ninja Turtles, with an alien origin story. But due to fan backlash, the Teenage Mutant aspect was, thankfully, added back in. In an interview with io9.com, the director claims that Baxter Stockman makes an appearance in the movie, and leading up to the film's release, we heard actor K. Todd Freeman was signed on as the scientist. Now, he wasn't in the credits, and I saw the movie twice specifically looking for him, so unless he's a completely blurry character in the background of one of April's home videos, the fan favorite got cut. But let me know if you guys find him, though. I'd love to know where he's at. Okay, references to the cartoon, comics, and toys. Sax jokes that they were going to use rabbits for their experiments, which is a fun nod to Usagi Yojimbo, a comic rabbit noted as inspiration for the TMNT. Shredder didn't say much in the movie, but thankfully he did give his classic line, Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Of course, we also got the requisite cowabunga, and not one, not two, but three callbacks to the classic Turtles theme song. One, the turtle van's horn is the song's melody. Two, at one point Vern asks if they're heroes in a half shell. And three, the actual song is playing in the background of one of Donnie's computers. Mikey's rocket skateboard was probably the biggest surprise to me, of course based on the classic toy line accessory. And this is super obvious, but not only was April wearing a yellow jacket, she also faints upon meeting the brothers, a turtle's tradition. I can't handle this. Now for a fun fact. While both movies featured prominent pizza product placement, the 90s series favored Domino's, while the new one is all about Pizza Hut. And the biggest stretch of them all, the song Michelangelo sings to April at the end of the movie is Happy Together, performed by a band named The Turtles. Eh? Eh? Anyway, so, did you guys catch anything cool? Let us know in the comments and make sure you check out some more of our Easter egg videos. Until next time, you can hit me up on Twitter at Tim Geddes, let Tim host.